So yo, this is it, boys. <laughs> are we live, lad? Yeah, we are live. Are we live? We're live, lad. So yo, this is our first podcast. We don't even have a fucking clue what's happening. <laughs> yo, Johnny boy, Scotty boy, what's good? Welcome, welcome. First podcast, spreading rumours, 2023. Hey, lad, how we- are you boys feeling? Good, good to mate. be here. Hey, lad, an air one. We've been talking about this shit for ages, man. We've been saying for how long now? I think I mentioned it to you probably about two years ago. Two years ago. Honest, like, but it just wasn't the right time, right? No, it wasn't the right time. What are you thinking, Johnny Boy? I only heard about you doing a podcast about a month ago. So if you can tell, Johnny Boy's just woke up, you know what I'm saying? We think he's a raging alcoholic, but he's not come out of the closet yet, but we're still waiting to find out. I'm not going to drink, like. Johnny's not even done his hair this morning. You had breakfast and that. Are you all right? You good? I'm good. Yeah, you I'm good? good. Yeah, all right, cool. Maybe before cool. this one, I had my first shower in three days. I'm feeling as clean as a fucking dog running through the sea. You know what I'm saying? With his clean arse, I'll rub it off the sand. <laughs> So, yo, what are we, what are we talking about, baby boys? You know what I'm saying? Let's fucking just life and just... Just life, boys. So what I want to know about you two is you boys used to live t- together when you were young, right? Did you tickle each other's buttholes like, back in the day? <laughs> well, we used to share a room and he <laughs> did used to fucking make me cry every night. I remember the times we used to live down in this place called Goree, obviously. Yeah. And I remember every fucking time I would run in the bathroom and lock the door because Johnny would chase me up the stairs, mate. <laughs> and I have no idea now because I was young. I got no clue what I was hiding from in that bathroom. But now you bring that up, it might be fucking something to do with his tongue in my arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> what was your experience like growing up with Pandini? Oh, fucking getting woken up every morning, every like middle of the night, fucking this alarm going off. And this cunt's fucking fast asleep, mate. Not hearing a fucking thing and pissing himself, like... <laughs> Yo, so for anybody watching, I pissed the bed till I was about, what, 13? Nah, you weren't that old. My, uh, mate, I'm telling you, I was a big boy pissing that bed. You weren't, you weren't at secondary school, were you? Mate, I'm, yeah, because remember I stayed at your house and I was scared of pissing the bed yeah, in year seven. Bad. Yeah, was that yeah like I was so. School? Yeah, yeah, I think I must have been year seven, mate. Like, literally, I used to fucking piss the bed that much. My mum used to, she went to the doctor's and she got a, um, a waterproof match, um, um, a waterproof bed sheet, what, yeah. that's what it's called. Top so I, when I pissed the bed, I didn't piss on the mattress. And it got to the point where, like, it was getting out of control still. Because it was just, like, multiple pisses overflowing and that. So she took me to the doctors and that, and they gave me something called a piss alarm. It's attached to my fingers. It's attached to my fingers and it's that. true story. Swear down. We're spreading rumours. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, yo, basically, this, room, this podcast is called Spreading Rumours. We're going to try spread some rumours, too, and you've got to fucking comment if you think they're real or not. But now, this is real. This is, this is real. This yeah, is and real. it got to the point I had this piss alarm. Yeah, and I would always piss the fucking bed still. And bro, it would not p- wake me up. The whole house is woken up, yeah? And they, this alarm's going off, so these motherfuckers know I'm pissing the bed right now. <laughs> and I'm sleeping. Yeah, mate, until I was about, I reckon a good 11 or 12. Yeah. So remember, I stayed at your house. Yeah, I don't think you were in secondary school. One of us shit on the floor as well, wasn't it? That hallway. was me, that was me. I shot at the bottom of the stairs. I remember staying at your gaff, right? You were in your bedroom. You were both sharing a room, right? You in had the bunk a beds. room in the corner. And then you were next to the door. Yeah. You, you had no bedroom door. <laughs> yeah. Right? So we fell asleep. Your old girls walked in at 7 a.m. in the, mo- in the morning, <laughs> turned the light on and starts hoovering next to my oh, fucking mate. head. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on in here? Like, <laughs> and you fucking walk in about 12, 12 a.m., steaming drunk. What? Yeah. Walk onto Always. your bed and just fall asleep. Mate, Copy. you were sharing a room with me when you were like fucking 25. What else are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I'm talking gory days. I wasn't never 18. Yeah, you were. Because I remember you had, your, you had your Ryan Giggs poster yeah. signed above your bed. And you mate, you used to come back with fucking blood all over your shoes. I yeah, remember you used mate. to come back, you used to go steal all those lights from the building sites. And you came back, there'd be like 30 in the room. We were in, tr- well, I was 16, 17 when we were in Trinity. When we moved to Trinity, I was 17. Well, you must have been... No, mate, I'm 10. You remember? No. You used to go... No, 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 no I'm 10. You were pissed back I was in the day, mate. I was a bachelor. You were coming in steaming drunk, lad. I, I reckon like, I would say... Mate, you had your fucking saxo down there. You were 17 with that car. I mean, you used to clean it all the oh, time. Oh, no, I was driving. Yeah, I you were driving. 17. Mate, and then you used to have that clean outside the house oh, all the time. Oh, I had fake ID, didn't I? But yeah, you used to caught. come back, mate. You were oh, a fucking... Right. Why didn't we have a door in our bedroom? Because you probably think, pun- no, you punched, punched the holes in it. You punched a hole in it. You are very aggressive when you've had a couple of be- bevies. You've come back one night and you put your fist through the fucking bedroom door. Wait, always. Why? Why? Mate, look at your no, knuckles, no. mate. Look at one of those. You've got fucking fat dogs sitting on your fingers, yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. You're an aggressive boy, though. Honestly. I remember you used to always punch. Remember, you, you used to try to fight <laughs> my mum's ex husband, Briny's dad. You and him, you know what I'm saying? If you're watching Neil, shout out, you know what I'm saying? You grabbed Johnny oh. by the neck and threw him against his Ryan Giggs poster and broke that motherfucker. And guess what? I started crying because I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Neil, like, he's a double-eyed bastard. Mate, he just used to fucking cause trouble. He's good, but you know what I'm saying? Do you know when people have bevies down the neck? Like me, mm. you turn you turn into a monster. You're t- you're, you two are quite similar on the bevy, to be fair. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm not really like that. I don't really turn. Oh, I don't think I'm as bad as Kristen. 
No, but it's not like he gets. I don't know. It's just both. You got something in you. Like every time he's, he's every time we're drinking and he's out, it's mm. always me trying to calm him down. Really? Yeah, I, I, I've it told is. myself it I'm is. not drinking again this whole year. Yeah. Because mad as it sounds, mate, I don't know what it does to me. It's because I get to the point. You know when you're drunk, yeah. you say I've stopped. Mm. Bro, if the club's about to close, I will make sure I've got four drinks in my hand, neck yeah. them, and I'm you're, outside. You're, you're one of them. You constantly let's go to the bar. Let's give me more. Let's get a bevy. Let's get a bevy. Whereas like you can just. Chill out and just yeah, mate. I should just fucking you can't though. You have when when you're out and you've had a few drinks. It's like, do you think that's UK lads though? I don't know, mate. That's like like a a a worldwide thing with lads. I'll buy them where they always need like bevy and they just because UK lads are bad for it. Yeah, mate. When I used to go to when I was in America, that they'd go to parties. No, we pre-drink. Yeah, we're going to a party. We'll meet up three hours before and fucking get steaming. Steaming. Mm. But in America, they meet there and then they start drinking there. You know what I'm saying? We're just born and bred to be dirty men. We are. You know what I'm just saying? Just feed me the goodies. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, is there any trips planned this year for you boys? Oh, now I'm a dad Nothing. now, lad. I'm off to Panama. <laughs> Shh, wait, wait, I, don't, I don't give a shit about Panama. <laughs> <laughs> Hambini on French is a dad. <laughs> Mate, do you know what's crazy? Oh, really? Do you know what's crazy? Like, for the nine months when Jabba's been pregnant, it didn't feel real. But, like, the last two weeks, bro, as mad as it sounds, something's changed in my head. Yeah. It's mad, mate. Well, I've just come back from Bali. I don't know if you. Do you you guys, you in Bali? Yeah, you were in did Bali, you like. Mate, he had Barley Belly every night, the little dirty dog, because he was drinking their fucking tap water. Did you, did you know I was in Bali? Yeah, yeah, I knew oh. you were in Bali. So like. I just came back, <laughs> yeah, I just came back from Bali a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Where were you? Um, Bali. Oh, so you just in Bali? Do you know Indonesia? Bali. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was in there. Um, obviously, I came back yeah, a couple of weeks ago, just a couple of months. Ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I can see it in your eyes. There's something changed. Oh, I, think, I, think it's your, I think it's your little girl. Oh, mate, literally, like when but I, it's for the best. Yeah. And I, I'm really happy for you, lad. I love that lad. Yeah. <laughs> you've lost me. You, you've got my attention one hour a week on the pod. <laughs> nah, but it's cool, mate. I can I can see, obviously, you're a dad now, so yeah. responsibilities, well, mate. It's class. crazy. Like, even when I'm out now, like, I'm coming home. Do you know when you're normally coming home, you've got nothing, you're like, oh, fuck. And yeah. you'll sit on TikTok, probably about three wanks. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it got to the point where you're literally jerking over nothing, you just want to fucking do something. Mm. So I'm in the bathroom, just ripping the fucking head off it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking much. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm at the point where like, I'm not even... Mate, obviously, because Jasmine's just had the baby, we've obviously not been able to like... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, naughty. Yeah, yeah. But I've not even had a wank in like three months. Uh, three months. Three, three weeks. Months. Three weeks. Yeah. I'm not even thought about it, mate. It's just like literally I come home to hold her, mate. Yeah. Crazy. I'm a changed motherfucker, bro. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? See, for me, man, I can't <clears throat> I can't even I can't even picture having a kid right now. Yeah. Like I like I've always said this, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. I can't I, I, I don't know what it is. I just can't see myself having one. I don't know if it's time. Because you're or not what, like more. what's the word? You know, you're I'm, not... thir- I'm 30 in August. You'd think, like, all the boys around us now, married... You, you he said 30, he means we're 20, for anyone watching. We're all going to be 20 yeah. years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20, want... we're 20, not 30. Sorry, yeah. <clears throat> Are you wanting kids? Or is it not in your, like... I don't know, like, that's what about? I'm saying, yeah, right now. Do you now, know what the problem just... is? Because, you know, like, you're, you've not, you're not happy with yourself yet. Obviously, not like... Not like <laughs> do you know what I'm saying, though? <laughs> like, you're doing well, yeah. you're doing your stuff. Yeah. But you're not... Content. What's that noise? Was that a mouse? What? No, was that you? That was me. Oh, because he had a dig. I went. Meow. Oh, oh you I don't know what the fuck I thought. Fucking Emmy walked around the corner. You dozy, dozy, but now dozy, what I'm dozy. saying is like, you know what I'm saying you're like working yourself. You're doing good, mm. but you're not at a point yet where you where you want to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying where you're like, for example, me like, like stuff's going well, but I was at a point where like I didn't feel like it could get any better. Sure. I was going to Dubai. This, 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 this. I'm chasing highs, but now the high is in my fucking hands, bro. Yeah, you're in control. So I have to catch a flight. To, you know what I'm saying she's just here. So I think like once <laughs> you're at the point where like everything's good for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You'll be like, okay, cool. Now like, I want another little challenge. Yeah. So you still do the same stuff, mm. but it just takes up me. Because the amount of times you're like wasting time. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. You're just like, oh, you're bored, probably like, oh, hey, you got your little one, man. It's fucking sick. Yeah. Nah, that's you good, know what man. I'm saying? So I should be an ad against condoms. Don't wear condoms. Have kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're hiding from happiness. You know what I'm saying? Deep down, <laughs> look at Johnny's face. But yeah. mate, when you're with the little ones, you're happy. You know what I'm saying? Like people, like, the main stress, I think, as well is money. Yeah. Money is the root of like, obviously it's good. Mm. You know what I'm saying to have obviously the, you don't want to chase it too much and get to the point where that's yeah, what you care yeah. about. Yeah. But like once you're like financially good, you've got your house. It takes all it. that stress away. Right? Yeah, hundred percent. That's bro. why you obviously you've got a little one now. You don't need to really worry yeah. about anything like that. You know, a lot of people aren't in that position. They'll have kids when they're young and shit in a family, but it's a lot of stress, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. They can't really deal with it. It's mad. So you're fucking Gucci lad. But I've always like, do you know what I'm saying? It's mad. It sounds like you can't. You're like, oh, I can't picture a kid. I've always pictured myself having a kid. I always said, I said to myself, and even like Jasmine, we were speaking about it years ago, because she was asking for ages. I said, around when I'm 30 will be the time. Mm. And it's happened. You know what I'm saying? We didn't, like, it wasn't planned, but then obviously yeah. it was perfect timing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, mate. And what about you, Johnny boy? So you're off to fucking Panama, yeah? You're f
Yeah. So well, I've heard rumor there's fish in Panama that have human vaginas on them. No, so we got them over here as well. Fuck no, them. but apparently Panama is where you find, you go find them and you fuck them, lad. You get, mate, you pull the fish out, you look at them, apparently it's just a vagina. No way. On them, it's their mouth, I think, and then people go out and fuck them, bro. An, act, an actual female's Mate, pussy. if you Google right now, fish with a vagina, it will be a fish with a vagina on, bro. It's fucked. Pe- that why you're <laughs> going, <laughs> That's why he's always on the boat, mate. <laughs> mate he Panama went out, mate. sounds good, brother. Mate, he went out last week and Danny seen him out. Mate, he was out till like four o'clock steaming. Wait. Looked at his story, mate. It was like quarter to 7 a.m. He's out on the boat. He's going fanny farting like. <laughs> <laughs> you got caught, didn't you, Johnny Boy? Yeah? You got caught. Caught what? <laughs> <laughs> He's playing dumb. <laughs> but didn't they ban that? What's that? Didn't they ban that with like fish? And um, like, it was, I think it was. Was it fishermen in the war or something used to go out there and find them and fuck them? But they've actually banned it. Because, mate, if you think about it, you can't go fuck a fish. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You can't imagine just going to the fucking, to the, the dog park in town and shagging the dog. Yeah. You're fuck, it's an animal, bro. Yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. just go and shag them. Yeah. just want to point out, I don't fuck <laughs> fish. <Yeah. laughs> Whilst we're on the subject of, like, you know, fucking animals, <laughs> do you remember that, that weirdo back in the day from Garrett, here? Gary. And he broke a, uh, broke a <laughs> goat's back. back legs and fucked you can't it. Say, you can't say names for that. You're about <laughs> to say a name. You can't say a name. You're about to say a name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's leave the names out because, you know. This yeah, is, you yeah, can't yeah. be saying it, names. Yeah, I but know this, this, yeah. Is, I know this is called spreading rumours, but this is actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, what, I know what you're about to say. I just wanted to make sure there was no name drop because we don't want people around yeah, here. Yeah, Do you yeah. remember his name, though? No, well, yeah. I actually don't. Don't yeah, say yeah, his name. Yeah, I know his name. But he, he broke the back legs of a sheep. and he fucked it, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mate, it's crazy people do that shit, man. It's fucked. I just don't understand what goes to people's heads to do that. Mate, do you know what's weird? Do you know what's weird? I'm a weird bastard, mate. Yeah. Like, I'm in a weird way. Like I always have like, um, do you know when you get, what's that word it's called when you get the intrusive thoughts mm. and it tells you to do shit, bro? Yeah. It's like, I don't know, but you obviously- You waste no time. You're one of them. You just like, you have a, you have a, you, you think about something, you have an idea. Well, but no, I'm, no I'm talking on the other way. Yeah. Like I've got to stop myself from doing shit, bro. That's like, just, just basically, this is just like an example. Like I'll be sitting here, say, say I'm in someone's front room. <laughs> I have a little brain thing telling me, smash the TV, rip it off the wall now. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, no, no. You, I've, mate, I've got to talk myself out of it, mate. I've Googled it to make sure it's all right. And apparently it's normal. Like, mate, like, I'll be walking with someone, you know what I'm saying? Just having a coffee. And my head, swear down, bro, will say, smack him in the face and see what happens. <laughs> Checking it's a form of, like, autism. No, 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 it's not. It's an actual thing. I've Googled it, mate. It's intrusive thoughts. Like, 95% of people have them. Really? You know what I'm saying? It's normal. <laughs> apparently it's only a problem when you can't. It. You can't like overthink it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I'd be having a mad of shit. You know what I'm and saying? And you've literally got to restrain yourself from doing Oh, no, it. restrain. Like, I'll like right now, like, I've not even had one today to be fair, but I'll be driving me and I'm like, yo, just fucking just crash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, mate? Like, I'm saying, and then I'm like, nah, nah, chill out. I'm not going to crash. Like, and then you're good. It's gone. You yeah. know, I don't have to like, oh, I'm going to smack <laughs> this little bastard. You know what I'm saying? But it's at a point where like, I've got, to, mate, it's crazy. Like the amount of times I get some weird ones, bro. Yeah. Weird ones. Do you get them thoughts? <laughs> not to that extent no yeah. but like you know maybe you know if you're like you've got a missus and yeah. you know, you're driving around and you see a bird it's like you know in my head fuck me she's fit like she'd get fucked yeah well, that's that's not an intrusive thought that's just normal yeah that's yeah. just lads like yeah yeah, that's, yeah that was normal lads. two weeks ago i don't even do that now lads. you yeah. know what i'm saying i'm in i'm you in my zone that. i'm zend out my zone now oh, bro no, no, i don't believe yeah. Mate, mate, I'm, te- I, I, mate, I'm yeah, bad. but in the last two weeks, mate, I don't know. Mate, obviously, like, yeah, I'm still me, but I mean, I've changed, bro. Like, I don't know what it is. It's mad. It's really? good. It's yeah, like, yo, thinking of weird thoughts. You know, what I always get as well. Do you know, people always ask, "Would you rather?" Questions. Mm. I'm always thinking of one. I've got one now. Go on. Would you rather? So, you picture Johnny's just come out the toilet, no bog rolls. So he's had a shit. Yeah, he's got shit all around his arsehole. Yeah. Would you rather lick his ass clean? Yeah, and no one finds out, or you don't do it, but everyone thinks you licked his ass clean. Everyone. In the whole world. Fuck those. That's why weird my head is, bro. Fuck. Yeah, mate. So if you do it, people don't know you've done it. But if you don't do it, everyone thinks you've done it. You, mate, and he's had a minging dinner. Either way, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a chicken boot. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what would but you do? You answer it. Don't be scared. I think I'm going to have to do it so no one knows. Oh, just, I mean, you know I'm know saying? It wouldn't make you gay, though. It's just like saying, would you suck, would you suck someone off and make them come in for a million pound? Do you know what I mean? That doesn't make you gay. That doesn't, doesn't make you gay, does it? I mean, <laughs> like, so, so someone gave you like, there's a ch- there's a briefcase there with a million pound cash in it. Yeah, you got to suck him off until he comes. Would you do it? <laughs> no that one finds out. Like... No, no, it doesn't matter about people finding out or not. But would you do it? Yeah, but no, that 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 helps the situation. Yeah, yeah, but that's not getting the real answer. Okay, I've got a question for you now. Then you'd say yes. Yeah. No, no it's not course uh, you'd say yes. I, I can't even comprehend that, mate. It's just okay. I got another one. I know it's cash. I've but got I, another I, one. I could make money, you know. I've got another one. Do you know um, Blueface? 
And do you know his missus, that Chris Sean Rock? <laughs> I don't know if you've seen on TikTok. She's like, um, crazy, yeah? Would you rather be a virgin and never have sex, yeah, for the rest of your life and not be married to her <laughs> or be married to her, handcuffed to her, but you get to have sex? But only with her. <laughs> I mean, she's not that bad, mate. Mate, she is a... <laughs> <laughs> mate, she's a gangster, bro. Has she got one tooth, or is it yeah, just yeah, like no, a she, mate, gangster seen, thing? Did you grooms. know how they met? No. He was like, he like, I think he hosted some OnlyFans like game show, not game show, but like he like had this house where he had girls come in. Yeah, he should yeah. box and fight, mate. Mm. He used to like fight like girls, and she knocked her tooth out there. Yeah, because she is a bit fucking bit of a. Oh, nutcase, mate, you seen mate. on the podcast? She on that Kai Sinet's podcast, bro. She just picked a chair up and threw it at the wall. She picked his dad up, body slammed his dad on the fucking chair, bro. No. Yeah, mate. Is this she... their reality TV show? No, no, this is their real life. <laughs> their real life? Yeah, this is past the reality TV show. This is their real life. Do you, have you seen her? No. Oh, I'll have to show you her, man. Mental. But yeah, mate, back to the intrusive thoughts. Like, oh, do you ever have weird shit like that? I never have a wish. Like mate. Mate, mate, that's how women. I'll just ask you, would you <laughs> lick Johnny's <laughs> asshole? If he had shit on it. <laughs> mate. Would you lick mine? If the, it was the way around, yeah, and what same the, exactly the same question? Yeah, but, but oh, my, yeah. I, my arsehole is full of shit. I'd lick it. I wouldn't even think twice about it. I'd yeah, just what about you, lad? Spread him. I mean, I'm not licking that arsehole, mate. I'm just. I'll let you. I'll just let you go find Bogro. I'll let you go find Johnny's tongue. But then <laughs> everyone knows. Yeah, but then I've got a kid in that, so they, they'll probably think, "Oh, it must be a rumor." <laughs> Spreading rumors. <laughs> ah, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Spreading doogies. <laughs> Spreading doogies on the doogies, like. Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Yeah, mate. Fucking, it's a Friday. I'm off the booze now. I'm being a healthy boy. And you know, you got a lot of people saying, come out, get bevied. I'm just like, nah, man, I'm staying strong. Oh yeah, I've told myself the whole year. If I go away now, you know what I'm saying? I can maybe have like some alcohol free beer. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck those. Are you, are you going to proper alcohol. see it through though? Well, I'm going to try, man. I, I know when we go on trips away or, you know, you know your little United trip, the, yeah. the temptation is there. Yeah. It's tough. I mean, even, when I came is... back, even when I came back last week, met, met the boys for a couple of pints. What does it lead to? Oh, you know, mate. you're around the pool table. <laughs> someone says, well, I'm going to the toilet. I get grabbed by the hood. Next minute, I'm in the toilet. <laughs> 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 no, mate. but like, that's how easy it is. Yeah, that's how, you know. You know I just go out for a couple of Guinnesses. But do you know like, my problem is? The boys. You know, probably, you know, I get like really bad hangovers. Like, every time I drop me, even since I've been like 18, man, no matter what, I'll throw up. Like I come home, yeah? Mm. I have to make myself throw up for about an hour when I'm home. To make the hangover less bad the next day. And I'm yeah. still in bed till like 4 p.m., bro. Like, boffin. I can't have, like, you know what I'm saying I don't want to, like, be doing that shit. Mm. Every time, mate. Yeah, every, stuff is bad. No matter what, mate. Like, the other day, the last time I went out, mate, I woke up and I just had kebabs and chips all over my fucking front door, boff everywhere. I'm, co I'm covered in sick, mate. But you know what? There's a lot of lads that do that <clears throat> every weekend. They mate. don't know better. They just think that's, that's normal. Yeah. But I can't, now I'm coming out of that phase and that stage. I don't know it's because I'm fucking 30 in August. 20. You're 20 <coughs> years old. Your birthday is 2003. But I couldn't think of anything worse. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's just the, the like, I just don't get it. Yeah, mate. I don't suffer bad. hangovers, mate. It's just maturing as well, bro. Like, you know, it must be like, we've been drinking since we were like 17. Oh, but there's still lads that aren't like, oh, no, for the weekend. Mate, I should even maybe even make it a thing because the only reason I don't want to drink is because of Emmy, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't want to come here and be hungover and I can't hold her and nah, I like nah. literally can't get attention. So yeah, maybe a thing, like, when I'm away, I can maybe have, like, if I go to United and that, but when I mean don't drink, I just don't mean like getting fucking Bevy a couple, of, be couple, be couple of beers at the game and that. It's like, but I mean like control. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Like life. Yeah. I just want to literally just feel good all the time, man. Just yeah. do it in moderation. To, yeah, but I'd say not in Jersey. Maybe when I'm away, it's worth it. You know, so I, I don't know. It's and when I'm away, I don't have hangovers because you're away. It's when you're here and you're feeling shit. You're sat on a couch, it's raining outside. Mm. Jersey's a shit night out anyway, so it's pointless going into yeah. town. And getting bevied up and feeling shit, wanting to feel shit the next day. I mean, and for always a shit night out. Always like, yeah, you know I'm saying. And when I'm out, you get a lot of people that like show love and get fun. It's the opposite too. People talk shit. And when I'm drunk, bro, you know, I'm like, like I can't. That's what I mean. Yeah. I'm just like fucking someone, talk shit again. I dare you. Someone gives me a wrong look. Yeah. And and you're you're over there like they've given you the wrong look. <laughs> yeah. That's that's how much he like he'll get aggressive and like have a couple <laughs> of. Don't know what it is. It's crazy, mate. It's, it's not even nothing to do with you, is it? Yeah, literally. I don't know what it is. It's just like that's why like I feel good. The only thing now is the gym. Yeah, I'm struggling, man. Like I was training hard. I was supposed to be fighting in like four weeks, mate. Mm. Literally, I just burnt. Like, I tasted of fucking. What did I have for lunch? <coughs> Smell on the mic. Oh. What did I have? For, like, oh, I had Mexican chicken from oh. Petty Petty Back Squat. Like. Oh, <laughs> Back Squat. Sweat, sweaty. They get Back Squat Ski. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but mate, literally, bro. Like, if I would get it out, but I can't be asked to like someone throw up watching the pod, mate. I'm getting fat again. But I'm trying to get like it's been like three. I've mate. I've trained like. Yeah, but you've Once got, in the last three weeks, but I'm sparring tonight. You've got to think tonight. that you just had a kid. You're, so yeah. you're, you're, you're out of routine. You're, fuck, you're, not, know, mate. you're not sleeping. Your sleep's broken. You're waking up. 
eight, nine in the morning and you're still tired because you've only had a couple of hours. I've got the fucking home gym in the garden, a sauna and shit. I'm just like, oh, I need to just get back on it, man. Well, look, lads, you know, you've got the best PT on the island sitting here. I don't know if anyone knows I'm a coach. <laughs> Quick plug, any training programs, you know where I'm at. Um, but we need to get you and in And you shape, get a lads. fucking hand job off his mum too if you sign up. Yeah. But mate, to be fair now, the last one, you, you just got tit shots, didn't they? Tit shots. Yeah, yeah, so like his mum sent a picture of the titties. Yeah, like, yeah. She's that nice. was to me, wasn't it? <laughs> was that, did you not even just sign up or was that just oh, like... She just sent me them. <laughs> she but just now, the training them. sessions this morning, you, you missed out. Everyone enjoyed it. We trained, oh, trained the family. Mate, you can. Mornings. You just got to find a way. Just tell Emma to just not work on a Friday. <laughs> she, yeah, or she, mate, just put the, the kids in nursery a couple hours. Nah. Or mate, I've got a dog cage upstairs. Just put them in the dog cage. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Put some like. see-through soundproofing on it and just give him a fucking, give him a carrot to fight over or something like. A Viagra? <laughs> no, you you're weird. Say? A carrot. Oh, right. Harrison walks you're fucking. Hard on anyway. <laughs> FBI, we got him. <laughs> Johnny boy. Uh, Johnny boy. Johnny, Johnny, Bonny boy. So you're, Johnny's obviously a pool cleaner as well, aren't you? Have you what's been going on with that? You just get prank calls because his van's in our, um, his van's in our uh, prank videos all the time. I had someone bring me from Saudi Arabia the other day. Mate, he gets literally, so he leave it and we just, every, we're stupid. We forget day. to take his number out of every it. Every day I Why get prank that? calls. Mate, because oh, some, some people, obviously. Oh, yeah, I dare you two to over talk me again because I'll take my shirt off and throw fucking doogies at you. You I think you're wrong, mate. You're, you're over talking me and him. Oh, two on one. Well, I was explaining yeah. about the van and you asked him what it was about and I was telling okay. the story. Well, someone just tell me what the fuck's going on. Get your dick out if you're not scared. Yeah, you're scared, exactly, lad. So yeah, go on and you carry your conversation. I'm going to sit here and watch. Go on. I'm going to rate this conversation out of 10. Why are you getting Saudi Arabia clients? Clients? Mm. No, I just get phone calls from all over the world. Oh, the I videos. thought you got your pool company. Oh, no, no, no. Just from the videos. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's just, it's been like that for like the last time. Fucking see. hell, this is a boring Four, conversation. Yeah, yeah. It should be called fucking spreading yawns, you cunts. <laughs> spreading yawns. Fucking, yours. I'm sat over here fucking falling asleep, like talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you've been awake all night. <laughs> now, to be fair, last night I woke up twice. And do you know what she does though? I, I'm, I'm a bit milking it. Like with everyone telling her I'm tired, mate. I'll wake up. I said, do you want to She said, nah, go back to sleep. <laughs> going to ask a question here. Have you sucked on her tit and got some milk out yet? I've not yet. Yeah, I was thinking about it last oh. night. I'm going to. I'm going to. Because if anybody's watching this, hasn't noticed, I like, post um, dad diary vlogs every single Wednesday. They're banging. People loving it. And the next one, I'm going to. I'm obviously not going to film the titties, but I'm going to suck some milk out and see what they feel like. Are you, are you just going to get her to express into a cup? No. no. Shot are you I'm fucking. Be? This is her nipple here, lad. <laughs> oh. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? That Give daddy horrible. milk. That was is it as big as it? Give that Mate, <laughs> swear to you, her nipple, her nipple is bigger. Than, look at the mic covering. Right now, cause, mate, they get bigger so the babies can see where you're... Mate, yeah, it's yeah. a fact. But, so if you're like, whenever you, whenever you have a kid, you so know, if, if, hey, if you ever get your life together, which is probably not going to happen, you <laughs> might get a girl pregnant and see the nips. <laughs> <laughs> but now... <nah, I>, <laughs> <but nah, laughs> But now nah, the nipples go like this so the kids can see them. I call Jasmine digestive tits. Because, bro, they like digestives, bro. <laughs> Fuck, are they that big? Mate, literally, mate. In like, wait, when she got pregnant, about three months in, mate, these motherfuckers just got, even the titties. Mate, I'm fucking eating the, the them. The nipple. I'm, I'm fucking doing naughty stuff. Because they're just like 10 times the size. And obviously, <laughs> as long as she breast milk's for, breast milk's, breastfeeds for, they're just going to be fat, sexy, just, oh, mate, I just want to fucking think of oh. them now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Daddy's getting cheeky. Give me some <laughs> milk, mummy. On. It's been three weeks, man. He's give fucking some, busting a nut over here. Give me some milk, mummy. <laughs> fucking blue balls. <laughs> Fuck Yo, it, man. You get, you hey, the boys, I've got a question though. <laughs> Who's got the worst hairline out of you, assholes? <laughs> I think you do. Nah. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're watching this, I went to Turkey, must have been three months ago, I got a hair transplant. <laughs> and um, I offered Johnny to come. I said, Johnny, do you want to come? He said, I don't need one. Pull your hair back. <laughs> you know what I'm he said he didn't need one. Okay, wow. Scotty, um, pull your hair back. You didn't ask me though. I've asked you like three times. I was in Bali, I wanted to come. But nah, no, uh, but anyway, the question is who's got the worst one? <laughs> Fucking Johnny, mate. Mine's fucking sad. Nah, I, just, I got I got shown a picture of your hair but, on top. Nah, he's not that bad. But what I'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> you sent him the photo. I showed him. He was with me. He was with me. I showed you him. Say dog, yeah. Yeah. But now nah, I've offered in October they're going to come with me to get a um. To, I'm going to get them both a hair transplant because mine's coming oh, through thought... now. So October. In my line of work as well, I'm putting content. Mate, out you're a good-looking motherfucker. You you're stacked. You got fucking. Mate, your legs are like. Big, you know what I'm saying? You're chilling, bro. Yeah. Shave the motherfucker off right now. Should I go get some clippers and we shave it now? <laughs> nah, not getting bold. <laughs> well, yo, let's 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 see. Bold. If I you're watching the pod right now, yeah, comment if you want to see Scotty go bold next week. Let's see what the comments say. Next pod. Next pod. Right, if they, how many likes on this first episode? I'd say. I reckon we've got to get at least five thousand. Yeah. Let's get right. five thousand likes by next Friday. Scotty will shave his hair on the next pod. Five thousand likes on this pod. 
And you'll be surprised, bro. And being on French will will personally bring the clippers on the second pod, and you, you can shave my hair. Yeah, I mean, you look like you look like Dwayne, bro. I reckon yeah. you'd bang Dwayne Johnson out too. Man, if you and, if you and the Rock were head to head right now, and literally you have to fight to the death, who's winning? Easy, me. I'll yeah. spot him. Well, what's your entrance music going to be? Because his would be. If you smell uh, mate, what mate. the rock is cooking, down and out now. I'd come out. You with do two. the rock eyebrow. I'd, I'd... Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's sick. Down, 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 down. Mate, that's sick. I'd come out with two fucking Budweisers. <laughs> Mate, remember fucking... that time we were in the car four? We were doing wrestling intros. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. Were we drinking? We were. Uh, no, 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 no. We were yeah. high. We were, yeah. we were smoking <laughs> that Cali Kush. Yeah. And this one, this one was in the bathtub. Do you remember? Yeah, that was after the night. Remember, yeah. then I started throwing up and you're taking videos of me. I'm just bundling the bath yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Because who did you? Because it started. Who did you come dressed as? You came out as like. I came out as Stone Cold because I had the beard. No, but you came. You done two. I had the belt. Yeah, you had Stone Cold. But did oh, you not do enough show. one? Big Show. Was it? And then you done the Big Show. I did the Great Carly, didn't I? No, no you done the I Big, did show, big and show. I think you done Shawn Michaels or someone. Hmm. But yeah, anyway, wrestling is lit. So wait, what would your song be? Theme song? I just said. I didn't hear because probably I was talking over you. I apologise. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, that's Dan what you did. And you can't Dan steal Dan someone's swag. Because everyone, do you know what happened to that? Picture this, picture this, Kay. Main event, the rocks walked out, everyone's like cheering. Yeah. Yeah. You come out, Stone Cold. Oh, so you see me. So everyone's saying this. Oh my God, they think it's Stone Cold. They look up and see some cunt that looks like Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, that's the whole point though. Nah, but then everyone's throwing fucking beer because cans I'm bold at you. And, and St- Sto- Stone Cold Steve. But then people are thinking you're going to be him, so they might be like, oh, you're a rip off. Yeah, and now I'm getting booed. Yeah, you're getting and beers thrown at me. now I'm getting beers you. thrown at me. Yeah. Would you have the and jacket I'll- on? 316. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Oh, mate, you, I reckon you could be in trouble. Like, you might even get lawyers involved for copyright yeah. strikes. They actually used then. to call me the Great Carly. Remember when I had the man bun? Oh, yeah, yeah, used, yeah. So maybe I could fucking wait, step after, over mate, the after boat. we go Turkey next time to get a hair transplant, grow another one, bro. Yeah. I'm saying that was your sickest haircut and you got rid of it. You remember you had like this, you had a trim line the whole way around. I looked good. I looked good, but I think it was just a lot of people didn't like it. Yeah, but know? then those people, look what they're doing now, lad. The yeah, person that bums. liked it, you know what I'm saying? They're bums. Yeah, and who liked it? Yeah. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're chilling at the top. Yeah. Cream of the crop. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? The beans on the bop. Would you ever grow your hair, Johnny boy? I used to have long hair. Oh, yeah, Johnny used to be... Nah. My, hair, my hair used to be long, mate. Yeah, Johnny oh, used to have proper used long to, hair. used to, you used to be like Justin Bieber, motherfuckers. Mate, this would be this. Yeah, you were the same. I had proper long hair, No, mate. but were you one of them? No, 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 no. My hair was just like... Come out. It was fucking. Do you not remember? Oh mate, I know. Really? Like proper long hair. Yeah. Really? Yeah. If I could get a picture of him, put it on the screen, I'd show you. But yeah, yeah. yeah but we're not doing that because um, the guy that. who actually um, edits and films our um, podcast, um, he doesn't know how to work laptop. <laughs> Sorry, forgot to forgot <laughs> to press record. <laughs> just, just going. Shout back. out, big man, Alex. Alex, camera guy, Alex in the back there. You know what I'm saying? He's a sexy motherfucker. To be fair. Yeah. This so is... you might see him on one pod. You might not. But yeah, big man like Alex. We're talking shit. But he's the man. He's the man. He's, yeah. he's the one. That's what would your What would your intro music be if you were like? But I would, I'd probably. I know. I reckon I know what song you're gonna say. I'm gonna start singing it, Kay. Go on. So you wanna be a rap superstar? Live large, big house, five cars, rent charge. Coming up in the world, no. Da, 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 da. I couldn't use that because I don't have a big house. I don't have five cars. <laughs> Do you know I mean it'd just be something that isn't fucking? Yeah, you got big cock to me. and five chins. I'd you know what I'm saying? I'd, I'd probably have to hit up your mate next time and get him to write me something. Oh mate, you wanna be a? What with my intro? I reckon you've got to go more funny. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's like Disney it, shit. You know, you know that, you, what's that film? Um, the school teacher. Boom, here comes the boom. Oh, Ready yeah. or not. How oh, you like me know. now? Oh. oh. You want to come with that what's sauce. That? Uh, what's that face again? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's probably something that I'd go for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm not going to rip off a WWE star. Nah. Do you know what I mean? Like Scotty. Yeah. yeah, like me, yeah. Like, I need to think about mine. It's, it's, a big, it's a big thing, you know? Big thing. What, mate, what would I do? I'm like, Do you know what song, to be fair, is lit? Well, the, uh, the video is like, I think it's called like, remember that song Crazy Town? I can't remember how it goes, but it used to be on the music channels all the time. I think it's like a guy lying in the field with butterflies all over him. Oh, no, no. Oh. Come, come, my lady. Come, come, come my lady. lady. You're, You're my, my butterfly. butterfly. Sugar, baby. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. Come, come, You're my butterfly. Nah, I nah, think they're called... some um... fucking hippie cunt, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, he was a legend, mate. I was going to say Cypress Hill, but no. Nah. nah, nah, that's that rap superstar song. That rap superstar song. But yeah, go, going back to that fucking night at uh, Villa Villa Goosen. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, the was, one that... Mil, was that when Millwall turned up? Who? Oh no, that was that was the that was the night. party. The and we'll night. get onto that story no, after. We'll get onto that. But do you remember that was the night when we had um, a couple of joints and we were high and then Johnny started playing games with us? Do you remember? Oh mate, pr- fucking what did, with he, our head. what did he do? He had mate, he had like a bin bag <laughs> on him pretending he was a ghost. But then he would come sit down with us. 
Then he'd go back out and run back. He tried to do it. Like, I feel like you didn't clock. I didn't clock on as quick, like that quick, but I clocked on before yeah, you. So put it into context. We were basically all sitting on the sofa, high as shit. But Johnny's a regular smoker, aren't you? But yeah. me, and, me and Hamby, we're not, we, you know, we're, like we'll once have a it. year. So we'll, me and him will have literally like one or two drags. And we call it going shit, to space. And we'll be going to space. Yeah. But he's used to it. So we're sitting down, literally just like this, chilling. High as shit. I think we're watching music videos or something. I was in the bath. Oh, no, no, that was before I fell yeah, off the bath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're watching music videos. Johnny decides to play a little game with us, don't you? Starts dressing up as like a, a, a bin bag and slowly walks past the lounge. And Kristen nudges me on the shoulder and goes, did you see that? And I was like, no, what was it? And then we're all like, what the fuck is going on here? And then you've come out. You've just come out, come sat back down to us. 20 minutes later, <laughs> Johnny goes, fuck, did you see that? What was that? Didn't you? And me and him were like, fucking hell, what the fuck was that? So now you're playing tricks on us, aren't you? You're thinking it was someone else. Little dozy bastard you Mate, are. Yeah, he does it. Like, but he were like, sometimes, yeah, do you know, like, because I like say me and Scott, we smoke like once a year. Like literally, even though like, we hit like two tokes and yeah. we literally, we call it going to space. We literally feel like we're getting a rocket and just pew, <laughs> sent to Doogie Town. You know what I'm saying? We're up there like, Amount of shit we in space. Amount of shit, mate. We met Bob Marley. Oh, we met Dan Bilzerian. and he had thirty six dicks on his chamber, and he was chin. fucking thirty six birds. That's yeah. what, what, what other shit, weird shit have we done with our highs. Oh, uh, we had fucking Snoop Dogg riding around in a fucking in a boat. I think we were in a boat. Oh, but yeah, we we're trying to stay afloat. Yeah, yeah, we've Dogg done was that. Us just keep keep it trucking. Remember, we were outside your house, and we thought we were surrounded by police and guns, yeah. and then we yeah, get out yeah. the car, and we like, what the fuck? Yeah. So we we like we go into a weird place, but it's like. We're up there and we feel like we're never getting out of it. We literally start having to shout, fucking shoot me, get me out yeah, of here. Yeah. Get me fucking out of here. And literally we have to then literally just fucking. No, to me, is, fucking there's like levels to it. Yeah. I don't know if you do it because you smoke a lot. But for me and him, it's like oh, we'll get it's really weird, high. It's weird smoking with views. Yeah. We're just fucking weirdos. We'll get really high. We'll, we'll be fucking seeing shit and all that. And then it'll be like, right. Fucking sweets, biscuits, and that. You know what I mean. And then we'll go on music videos. Then we'll put in fucking Drizzy Drake. We'll put in Snoop Dogg. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we'll put in Wiz Khalifa. The big, the big tokers of the game. And we'll just think we're with them. And then we're settling down. We're chilling, and we finish it with a bit of David, David Attenborough. Attenborough. That's how you do a David fucking Attenborough. smoke session. Yeah, you have to, mate. But remember the time when we first started doing? It? We started turning. It when we went to Canada. Yeah. It's when we went to Canada. Fuck. We literally. That's when we started to realize highs. Because remember, we started taking our shirts off and going. Yeah. Mm. Literally, remember? That's weird. I thought you said, nah, I don't remember that. <laughs> I was like, wait, what the fuck's going on here? But that's when it started, and we just started going like literally weird levels and that. Yeah. And I remember that time back to Villa Carpo where Natalie was literally making milk, oh, white milk, and it was like, she was like a witch. The cauldron. <laughs> the cauldron. Yeah. Were you there that time when he put that, what was that program you used to put on YouTube? Oh, mate, it was, that like, was you. You just, had, you just had a story. No, it was me and you, and you weren't there for that one because it's like, it's, it's basically you go on YouTube and type in things to not watch high. So like he, like the girl he's with now, Emma, like she came around Villa Car 4 for the first time and I put it on. And mate, it's like you're fucking, don't even know what's going on, mate. It's like it's cartoons of saggy ticks, big fucking dicks out and shit. And mate, we're pissing our pants, mate. It's like literally, I don't even know how no to explain way. it. It's called Do Not Watch This High. So what did we do? Watched watch it high. high. He's given everyone, everyone in this, everyone in this like, thing you're watching. Everyone, he's every character. Is it like a hallucination, people. like patterns and shit? You nah. know, I don't even know, mate. It's just fucked. Yeah, mate, it's this cool. Yeah, but obviously, like, when you say don't do something, you do yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? What's, what's that one with the weird fingers? Oh, Frankie Salad, salad Fingers. fingers. Oh, Salad Fingers. Oh, Take yeah, most yeah, yeah. nasty spoons. Yeah. Yeah. So are you, are you, that, are like, you still smoking a lot? I, yeah, I still smoke. I'm yeah. Not, mate, I'd say you'll make over, like, a year and a half, mate. Huh? I'm not smoking like a year and a half, mate. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, I say, I don't even say smoke. We hit it one time, mate. We literally go... And literally, that's us. Yeah. It's weird, mate. That's like, what we need. It's mad. Do you, do you feel like you, you can still fucking do anything if you were proper high? Yeah, yeah. And sober? I, don't, I, don't I, don't, I just don't, like, me and you, we're function, fucking, bro. we're literally I don't, like this. I don't, I don't get it. Like, like mate, I, if you could smoke a fat joint before this, couldn't you do this? Oh, yeah, 100%. Mate, if I, if I had one puff of this, I reckon, we'd be able to do this, but it'd be weird. But you like, build we, up a tolerance, right? Yeah, like but, then, but then I just, we don't smoke enough, bro. I don't want to be at that point. Mm. I'm happy with, mate, like, having one little... And literally, that's me, bro. But isn't that the whole point of smoking? Yeah, yeah, to is have to, fun. Is to, is to have fun like me and you. Yeah. Is to experience that high, have a laugh. Bring Bob Marley yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, Bring yeah. Snoop Dogg in, you know? Yeah, yeah, Watch yeah. David Attenborough. Yeah, it's just Take it all in. Whereas, what are you actually doing? People before? get it to they get out. As mad as I don't want to... Not on, some, on some shit like that. Not on some like, deep shit, but like I think it's to let us relax you, like take away stress away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People, you know what I'm saying? As mad as it sounds, it takes... A lot of people are stressed. They smoke it and they feel a bit like, oh, okay. But mm. we don't like... 
I'd never take it for that. We, we like, wouldn't. We wouldn't resort to it yeah, you know, yeah, on yeah. a daily basis. Yeah. Don't smoke fag. You know, like people who like smoke fags and have coffee with a fag. I don't smoke weed during the day, like unless oh. nah. I'd, it have to be. It's like an even thing. So I have oh, okay. coffee and then I'll have like one or two joints. Yeah. Just like chill. Do you know what I mean? Just like and relax you. Lockdown. You were fucking oh, lockdown, small was, skins every day, that like was, that all was day. A story. What else did you have to do though? Yeah. We didn't really have much else to do. We were stuck in a house. We couldn't. We couldn't leave our house. Mm. What we had that for? Two hours. Remember Jasmine used to hate it when we smoked? She went, oh, not again. Yeah. She, oh, do you remember we tried to get Jasmine to smoke? Oh, nah. man, she, yeah, she just can't, like, she's hit it yeah. can't get high. But that's the thing with me and you smoke, like, there's a lot of energy. Uh, a lot of people can't get yeah. up there, you know? But I've got a question. Go on. Because I just love my intrusive thoughts. I've got another one. Go on, lad. You can make a million pound. All you've got to do is walk up to an old lady, but, like, she can't really walk, and proper full and cobber her and every one you hit like that you get a million pound in your bank account <laughs> you're crazy I'd be bro. me I'd be going straight up to Lakeside Care Home and I'd be <laughs> banging I'd be walking through the rooms and I'd be picking the oldest fucking ones like you've had a good run love see you <laughs> bang and I'd, so, be, I'd be walking out there with fucking probably 50 bags double like, bags like, sorted like, for life money, we- money Mayweather that's it that's mate. what I'm saying like money, money's fun but like in terms of what would you Cause it, I'm talking it's not just that it's what's a the proper- consequence though Mate, I, well, I don't know. Like, you're not going to get in trouble for it, but the person, the old person might die. But you're not going to get in trouble for it. But I'm talking like you're walking up, sneaking, snuffing them from the side. Snuffing them. Well, they're, they're like having like playing like they're like, mate, they're like maybe <laughs> playing, they might be playing like dominoes, chilling, having their cup of tea. And it's got to be. And there's witnesses. Yeah, but you're, you're not, you can't get in trouble by the police. But you can, but in your head, like people know you just killed an old person by thumping her straight in the side of the head. Nah, I can't do that, mate. I wouldn't. Nah, no chance. Johnny, would, Johnny, was going to a Johnny literally home. said he's going straight to a care home. <laughs> I was saying, <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Do you know what I mean? You don't walk down the street because you're probably going to see how many old women you're going to see walking down the street like that. Go to mm. a care home. Full of them. Happy fucking days. I've got another one then. There's a fucking button there, yeah? Every time you press that button, you get a million pound, but someone dies in the world. And you don't know them. Mate, it could be your mum. It could be someone random. You don't know who it's going to be. Ping, dead. Ping, dead. You can press that a million times. You're 100 mil. But you've killed 100 people. Mm. And it could literally be every family member of yours. Shit. What are you doing, Johnny? Because it could, for example, it could be your fucking kid. That's a hard one. But if, have, you, have you ever seen the, the uh, death, death thing online? <laughs> where it's like, you know, like the births and the deaths. And you see the numbers just fucking... What's winning? I, I don't know, but it's fucking, it grows up. I think up births, I think there's like, more, I think the population's getting bigger, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, don't dodge the question, mate. You pressing that button or you're not? I'll press that button, yeah. <laughs> you're a fucking... <laughs> because what's the difference? You, you've got someone dying every second. Yeah, that, but it could so be... This podcast going on for an hour. We've, we've lost, there's 60,000 people in the world that died. We don't know one of them. Yeah. So what's yeah. the difference? You press it five times. But I'm you've gonna, killed that person. I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to press it 10 times because what, there's 7 billion people in this, in this world. Yeah. The amount of people that I know that are close to me the chances of it landing on them yeah. is very, very But then small. What, imagine that, you press it, it was you. You press it, it was that person, that, yeah, you killed yourself. I killed myself. You don't know though. Oh, so I'm it. involved now. Everyone, someone dies. Shit. Yeah, you know I'm saying it's that chance of That'd be a good take. way to go out, yeah. right? Yeah. Scott pressed the button I've, for a million, he killed himself. Like That's mate, the risk you take. It's mad, isn't it though? Like yeah. you say, when you think of shit like this. No risk, no reward. But I'd be definitely pressing that button. I love, I love questions like that. Get, get you thinking. Do you know that one people always ask as well? Would you rather... Your best mate win a million pound, but you don't know, he might not give you any. He might say, fuck if you are, so I just won this, you know what I'm saying? Or he doesn't win that and you win 50 grand. I'd rather my mate win a mil. But then you might not get a penny. Yeah, yeah, but like a mil in the grand scheme of things. 50 grand. Like, but then like, that's, going got, in your, but you've got, that's going in your pocket. Yeah, but realistically. 50, 50 grand is a lot of money to like, someone that doesn't have money. What are you doing, lad? I'll let my mate win a mil. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Because then I'll be like, Nah, but lad, that's not... He might say, nah, lad, I've yeah, got money now. Goodbye. Yeah, but he could... You know. I don't need your PT no more. Goodbye. Yeah. You know I'm saying it's mental. Like, you don't know what change... Money changes people, bro. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He might fucking do doogie. I love weird questions like that. We need more. Yeah, mate. Literally, drop some comments. Yeah. Drop some comments of would you rather... Like, twisted, weird questions because you get weird answers. You didn't answer the question to your own question. What was it? The bu- let's go back to the bottom one. What would you do? How oh, I'm not pressing that button. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to press it. <laughs> 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 I say, why would I kill someone? <laughs> I can press it 10 times. I've still got more sat in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do dog blood. We should have seen that one coming. <laughs> 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 Fucking corker, eh? 
<laughs> oh mate, you know what I'm saying? I want I want to ask another weird one because my head loves weird shit. I love just you know what I'm saying it's weird. Normally I'm just asking myself these questions in my head. I don't want to ask just, anyone. Are you just sitting in the bath thinking would you rather and just asking that yourself? That just they pop in sometimes like these intrusive thoughts like right now like I've not had one to be fair on this pod. Like what I mean I've had I don't even want to talk about ones I've had, you know what I'm saying? Because it involves like yeah, so a lot. So but mate, like literally, but I'll be sat. Mate, comment on this if you had this before. I'll be sitting there, mate, and they'll be like, like sometimes I've got to like, so say like for example, I got like baseball bats in my room just in case like someone breaks in. Sometimes, bro, like when I'm thinking about them before bed, I'm like, I've got the bat there. Sometimes I have to put it outside my room because I know it's there. Mm. And obviously, like Jasmine and that in the room, bro. Like, yeah. I don't want to wake up half sleep, know the bats there and be doogie. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? So sometimes I got to put the bat outside the room and that man. It's crazy, mate. The fact that you've got a baseball bat outside, you know, in your room as well. Yeah, mate. I'd never fucking think of that. Mate, I've got three baseball bats in my room. Three. three. One, they're all made out of different material, mate. All in different One's corner. metal, one's wood, and I don't know what the other shit one is. That mate, surely you got one, get one wrapped bar, in barbed wire. Oh. Imagine that, like. That'd be sick. A couple of zombies in here, like. Yeah, that'd be crazy. I've just because literally the, last week. 1am, people walk around my gaff and that. I reckon that was Johnny Boy. Oh, I reckon Johnny Boy was, was trying to get in the sauna late at night. Oh, like. Or trying to get to my watch box. Yeah. <laughs> or he's gone out steaming drunk, thinking like, I'm going to come back to Hamby's and try to get a fucking a free night's oh. kit. Or maybe I jump thought in you going to say something of Jasmine then. <laughs> 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 nah, he tried ringing me. I was, I was sparkly. He rang Natalie, he rang Emma. I was half yeah. asleep then. And when we turned the light, we had people running. So I got CCTV now. Yeah, that's We ran mad. into my fuckers. I damn come back. But I'm ready loaded with free bats. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If I got a fucking, do you know when you wake up with a fat hard on sometimes? But I wake up with a fat hard and I got four bats and I'm swinging that motherfucker at someone's head. You know what I'm saying? Do you know those ones when you wake up? Fucking, it's just, do you know, it's like literally like concrete solid. solid. You, you can't move it. So yeah. You got to go for a piss and you got to like lean over the toilet like this. Superman. Oh, you, yeah, literally, yeah. mate. Because if you don't, it's just fucking everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I piss on my bathroom floor all the time, bro. On your bathroom floor. Like, literally, obviously, when I miss, but it's my gas. So I just wipe oh, it on right. my socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> take them off and put them in the in the bin. Don't even take them off, lad. You keep why, them on. Why would you take them off? You just flip them round so the wetness is on the top of the foot. You know what I'm saying? No. That's mental. Yeah, mate. I'd, fuck. I'd never do that in my life. So you've never ever wiped piss on your socks. Never. Man, I think these. I need to get some new fucking chairs. Hey, that's what fucking toilet roll is I, for, I, brother. I don't wipe the floor. Like, if I piss on the floor, I won't use my socks. But I piss <laughs> the... He's stiff. Oh, stiff I'm fucking the first podcast. This is going to be the last podcast with these fucking things. <laughs> mate, I have one. back, yeah? I feel like I'm sat in economy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling I'm... you now, mate. I've come here, yeah? I thought, lovely. Podcast with the boys. You know what I'm saying? I've took one look at this fucking... <laughs> One look at this chair and I'm thinking, fuck me, like, you got a bit of cash on you. Get us a fucking sofa, <laughs> brother. You know what I mean? Like, spend a bit of money on the spending rumours, like. <laughs> oh, a sofa would be sick, eh? Yeah, just... Oh, yeah, but then you're too close, you know what I'm saying? Just get a big... L-shape. Because Johnny, mate, because he's, mate, because when we were younger, Johnny always used to fucking have bogeys. Like, he used to... <laughs> he used to, mate, swear on my life, you know what I'm saying? This is no rumour or anything, yet. Yeah? Literally... <laughs> He used to have his T-shirt here and he'd pick his nose and he'd wipe on his top and fold it back. <laughs> at the end of the day, be honest, at the end of the day, then your T-shirt used to be full of bogeys, mate. I don't know what you're talking about. Mate. I don't know what you're talking about. You're swear on loser. your fucking... <laughs> <laughs> swear on your kid's life right now you didn't do that. <laughs> Booger boy. Literally, Booger mate. Boy. It would here. The whole underneath would be solid with bogeys. I know someone who still does that now up here. Who? I can't say names. Oh, like, that's like, mad you know I mean, though. I think I know you, who You it pull is. off his hoodie, mate, and he's got crusty bogeys. Oh, oh man. Here. Yeah, you know who it is. I, I think I do know who it is, but yeah. I'm gonna, not going to say the name nah, right now. Like, you might get him as a guest one day. And then, him. Why don't we get him as a guest one day? Don't tell him to pull his hood down. Oh, oh, let's I, see what you got, yeah, boy. I actually spoke to him today. Like He's actually like pleading. Like, he's oh, like, please, mate, please. Thank you. I know who all, I can tell yeah. who it is already. Like. Yeah, I think he, he could be actually a good addition. Like, nah, nah, he wouldn't. I don't you don't want, think? Not in the gaff. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know where you're fucking living. Like. I know who you're talking He's the one running around upstairs. I know who you're talking about. I don't even know him. I know who you're talking about. Everyone's thinking. Thinking like, who is this guy? You know what I'm saying? We got three cameras on us right now. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we're about to start a porno. Yeah, th- there's a big, there's a big yeah, audience itchy. behind us, guys. There's, there's about 20 people. Do you know you got itchy? How you doing? Yeah. It's a fucking. You know when you go to those like things, it's just a crowd of people like <laughs> when I'm that fucking. That was that Judge Rinder. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't you want? Oh, oh, let's talk Rinder. about Judge Rinder, Mate, boy. Do you know when you got itchy nose? I don't want itchy because it looks like I'm picking my nose, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So what? The, what was the crack with Judge Rinder? Because you and Judge you Doogie, and Judge Doogie on Mate, French. Imagine, like, people think it's like a fake show. It is like, a mate, fake show. No, no, no. Mate, when we got there, mm. mate, we got there like 9 a.m. Connor went one way, I went the other, bro. You didn't see him at all. You sat in a fucking room, bro. You know what I'm saying? They For come in long? and you both walk out your own ways. He walks to his desk, I walk to mine. You never, you don't see the judge guy before it or after it. And yeah. he's just talking shit. 
So I'm talking shit back. They cut all the shit I was talking out and made it look like he was picking on me. Oh, really? And I was saying I was fucking giving him doogie back. Because like. I've, I've seen them episodes and I'm just yeah. like, what, what are they arguing over? Like, it's crazy. The cat next it's door. It's crazy. But like you say, yeah, you're putting rooms there. You felt like a fucking prisoner. How yeah. did you even end up on that? They literally wanted me and Natalie first. And then Natalie said, fuck off, Judge Rinda, you dozy dog. <laughs> you think I want to come on your show? And I thought, fuck it. They put 500 quid in my pocket. Like, yeah. <laughs> what was the actual storyline? I think it was because I fucking put ketchup all over him and ripped his shoes and that. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, mate, you know what I'm saying? I had to delete the video because he was butt naked in the bath. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, oh. eh? But yeah, that was a fun little experience. What's your other experiences you've had? Like, you could talk about... Fun ones. Like fun crazy ones, ones. Like, like you say, in terms of... Mate, it's mad as it sounds. I've done fun shit, but I get offered a lot of stuff, but I just, like, keep myself to myself yeah, and my own yeah. shit. But this year, we're trying to do some cool stuff, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Johnny's got some... Um, he can't actually say it at the moment... But Johnny's got some big, big things in the pipeline. It's a bit, yeah, it's a bit. We can't actually say because in the contract it says, um, "Keep your fucking mouth shut, you fucking dozy asshole." <laughs> but he, yeah, what I'm saying. So Johnny boy's excited. Fucking constantly got his cock out around the house, jerking because he's fucking doing doogie. He's gonna be famous. Though. What other funny, what other fun stuff for like in terms of like? Surely you got some good stories when you know when you're out in LA or. I don't think they're for this show though. Oh mate, I've got no. I've got some like there's ones I can't even like I can tell you in that. Yeah. The amount of stories I can say like about so many things, bro, mm. that would make people mad. <laughs> Just remember Jasmine's yeah. in a few. No, weeks. no, not even not even with her. Yeah, but like, not even like that. No, not, that not, not girls and shit like that. But like I've got some like. Uh, when I think even for the boys, like well, obviously all the YouTubers like at your level and that. Surely there's got to be. Yeah, some yeah. So sort of, like, like when that, me and Jackson went to LA that time, like we kind of done videos of everyone. Yeah. Then me and like, out of everyone we've met, you know what I'm saying? Me and Jackson were the craziest motherfuckers, bro. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying when we went to like we we're in Miami with like Nelt Boys and stuff. Yeah. Like they they, they get lit, but they like me and Jackson were on another level. Yeah. They were they were like to me and Jackson. The Nelt Boys, they were like, you motherfuckers need yeah. your own show. Yeah. You yeah. need your own website. But me and Jackson, we're like. Have you ever seen Beavis and Butthead? Yeah. We were literally Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, literally, you fucking don't know where you're going, but it always goes to plan. Yeah. Whereas, like, you say, Nelt Boys, like, Logan Paul, they got proper yeah. businesses and, like, people behind them that, like, make sure shit's right. For sure, yeah. Whereas I hate all that shit, man. I just like to be free, you know what I'm saying? I don't want fucking conch characters and all that sort of shit. Yeah. But they were saying, they were like, you motherfuckers can be wild, like, if you wanted to. But I think, I think you boys... Knowing obviously you very well, and obviously I've met Jackson, you both just got it naturally. Oh, when mate, you, and when you're t when you put these two together, bro, mate, it's, it's fuck it. You, it's, you boys don't stop. Should be illegal. Yeah, like man, I could. I, mean, I wish I could tell literally about a hundred stories of me and Jackson, bro. But literally, Crazy. man, I'll tell you like, no, nah, nah, I'm just not even going to go there. What? But fucking, he's a funny cunt. Yeah. We'll get him on here one day when he when it comes yeah, to Jersey. Yeah, for sure. Mate, he'll sit there naked the whole time, jerking his cock, bro. Mm. Like, I remember when, like, I remember in LA, mate, we'd just be chilling in our house every time, yeah. Like, I just look back, he sat in the corner looking at me, jerking. <laughs> Mate, he's probably been doing it half an hour waiting for me to <laughs> look at me. Yeah, you know I said, he's a funny cunt, bro. But yeah, he's one of those motherfuckers who'll get him on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Have you met him before? Yeah, he was over. Oh, yeah, he came Come over. Yeah, didn't he came he? over. Oh, yeah, yeah. They caused carnage at Radisson. Yeah, I mean, we all got banned there, bro. Uh, oh, you were there? Yeah, I was there. <laughs> yeah. Was that the night that, that you me. told me about your story? That was me. Like, that, that was climbing in the flat. Oh, and yeah. The yeah. talcum powder up. Was yeah. that like, the same night? Yeah, yeah, mate. Fuck. Do you know what? When Who actually told me that story? Do for. It was before tell, yeah. when I heard about it because you weren't there. You were in Bali. I was like, "Is that something Scott would do?" Because uh, hearing oh, it, I was mate. like, "Scott would see do that." that. The, see them days like that was when obviously you're just around that in in summer, bevy and summer. whatever. The sun you know, does. And sun you're you trying bro. to find a gaff party, right? So we're obviously walking around in the streets trying to find a gaff party. We see a fucking window, doosh, doosh music. You know, there's people there. We can't obviously get in the front door. <laughs> so me being Squat Johnson. One of the lads has gone on my shoulders. One of the other lads has gone on his shoulders. So now we're on a fucking fire, man. He's peeped through, crept into the bedroom door, right? Let, come down the stairs, let us in. We've walked up and now we're just standing in some random guy's bedroom. Right, just didn't even know what to do. They're all in the kitchen. It was fucking, honestly, these guys have walked in. They're like, what the fuck are you doing in our gaff? We're like, playing dumb. We're like, this is our gaff. <laughs> and they're like, what are you on about? It's like, this is James's gaff. And they're like, no, it's not. Proper kicking off. There's, there's a bird there as well. And we just played absolute dumb. We were like, this is our gaff. And it was going back and forth. Next minute, one of our mates is like, lifted up the covers. There's talcum powder. Oh. No, you can't see anyone. Like, you literally can't see in front of you. Let it all settle. They're like, get the fuck out. So we've like ran out, all three of us. And then uh, they're shouting out the window. And then next minute, Dufour's ran back. We've done it again. One on my shoulders, one on his shoulders. He's peeped through and screamed. The, 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 the bird screamed the head off. 
and we're just running, bolting it down the fucking road. And that's when we met you at uh, Radisson. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. It went fucking pear-shaped. I'm smashing yeah. glass over my head. Oh. Throwing this is what I mean you. about going out. So me and Jack, <laughs> we woke up, we, we had a two grand fine. And we got banned from the hotel. We got woken up by the police knocking on our door. Really? At the hotel, bro. We're there eating our breakfast. Mental, Mental mate. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. That's what it's about. Like, that's what lads do, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you do. Like, it's Scotty as well. Um, he's be, obviously been in Bali recently, you know what I'm saying? Having fun up there. Squat Johnson Fitness. Make sure you hit him up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Give him your money. <laughs> <laughs> Train the yeah. plans, Lincoln. He was, um, tell, tell us about, because you were like um, microdosing mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. So I, pretty much when I was doing work out there, if you've ever been to Bali, you'd know mu mushrooms is like the drug out there. Yeah. Like, you can't really get you, any... You didn't take it in a way where like you were like abusing it. Like people, do, nah. people microdose it to like focus and help them. That's, that's what you took That's it. what I was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I wasn't like... Of, of course, there was a couple of sessions with, with friends and that where we actually took more. Yeah. But I was actually microdosing because I've obviously done the research over it and how how good benefit yeah, 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 it is yeah. for you to do work. I was, do, I was doing work and I was just so focused. Like I can... You're not like high or anything like that. It's just like... It's good. I 100% recommend it to microdose. Yeah. Even just day-to-day -day stuff. You need to get a big project done. If you need to like do some work and you're just grounded on the computer, whatever it is. Yeah. Mate, I've heard so many people say that. Yeah, heard, like, Jack, Jackson even mentioned it a few times. He was like, yo, sure. Mike, he said, you don't take it to the point where you can't fucking, you want to like peel your skin off and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's to the point where like literally a tiny bit. Yeah. Literally, people take it like a thing where they have like, well, they take it like, a, a tenth of one every mm. day yeah. for like literally 10 days. I've never, mushroom, no. I've never eaten not. bro, but like apparently I think so that's the way it's different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so over in Bali, it was more, it wasn't physical raw mushrooms. It was chocolate. Like it was chocolate mushrooms. So you just break a piece off, microdose that, get on with your work. But obviously, if you take more, <laughs> you're doing your work. Next thing, the, yeah. the paper's flying. You got your yeah. fucking dick out. Next thing, you got fucking your finger in your ass. Yeah, you're fucking walking around going. <laughs> the, the thing is, you don't know fucking how much you cut your feet off and shit. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, you don't know how much you're microdosing. You just think I'll take a small yeah. piece. Daniela took a little bit too much and she oh. was like a little bit more like funny and you know yeah, giggly yeah, yeah, and wavy yeah, yeah. and stuff like she that. She had two so, fingers in her ass. Yeah, <laughs> mate. I look over and she's got three fingers in her ass and I'm like, fuck <laughs> me, you took too much. Like. Look at me, I got four. <laughs> <laughs> but now nah, I think if I even like those, that shit, mate, cause shit like that because I've got a very addictive personality. Mm. Like if I'm in a chilled environment, I'll instantly adapt and be chill. Yeah. If I'm in a fucking crazy environment, I'll be fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? I've always got to like, it's weird, what, mate. You, you're like one spectrum to the other. Like one people the have other. like a, like a personality. You know what I'm saying, but me, anything, bro. Like mm. fucking, you could put me in the library, bro. I'm gonna read fucking sixty books. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you put a porn in front of me, bro. I'm ripping my dick off thirty times. I looks like that one. Didn't but it? you know what I'm saying, though. <laughs> like, listen, I'm not even talking shit, mate. It's weird. I just had to adapt to shit, man. Yeah. Put me to build something. I'm building a fucking wall. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't know what it is, but like, that's why at the moment, Emmy, that like, I'm trying to like, uh, uh, mate, I feel fucking good right now. So if I if I went and got some mushrooms for one of the boys, like would you? In the in the microdose, when you're saying, huh? In the way you're saying, no, but in the in the way I mean, we'll like just fucking just eat a pack no, of it. No, actually, just yeah, actually, take some mushrooms. And just see, wait, I've heard you. Because I'm, I'm not I'm not condoning drugs, right? It's obviously the last exactly, thing I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mushrooms, right? Is is like I don't know how you put it. It's like the m number one research drug, safest yeah. recreational drug out there. It's yeah. like whatever, class C or whatever. But in terms of its not benefits, but what it can do to your body, yeah, and your mind. Yeah. You're not doing it, it in unlocks, a way. Yeah, it's not. You're not like, doing it in a way you're going to take this and go party. That's what I'm saying. Like people say, like even like I see, but even like people like Jay Alvarez and stuff. You know what I'm saying? They're like yeah. these like fitness influencers. Sure. Stuff. Honestly, like I've seen they say they go they go to a field with people that they like, yeah. or like they sit in a nice room around the pool. But you have to be of good people. You can't be of Johnny because you'll be dressed up as a ghost. And you'll think he's a fucking cow in your garden. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You'll be running around screaming town. There's a cow at my no, house. But little do you know, it's just Johnny dressed up as a doogie. That. I think there'll be a lot of people that might disagree with that. Because obviously, I know people who have, you know, been on mushrooms, done mushrooms. Yeah. And now they've had, they've, they've got to the point where they've done something. And it's put them in a position where it's changed their life forever. In, t in, a, in a negative way. Yeah, yeah like... Yeah, like, they've like... Because I've always heard a rumour. I don't even know if it's true. But like this... And everyone says mushrooms. I've read something one time. Someone took that many mushrooms. They thought they were a fucking orange. And they peeled all their skin off. Right. Well, let me just tell you now. <laughs> they probably took about a whole field yeah. full of mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they're not... They're clearly not doing it safely. Now, there's a lot of research around mushrooms and yeah. taking it. Back in the day, you know, when... Well, the, People would just go pick them and then yeah, they would just chew. And yeah, around church. They yeah. would just go rip them out the floor. They would yeah. cook them or boil them, whatever it is. And they would just fucking drink whatever. They, they don't know how much they're taking. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. why they're hallucinating. That's why they're seeing fucking an elephant in the sky or whatever it is. Because like, their body, they've literally just yeah, fucking... Yeah, too over. much, mate. Yeah. yeah, mate, literally, I watched some TikTok the other day as well. Um, they were talking about DMT. Do you know okay. like, People say if you take that, you don't even need much. And mate, apparently, like, you literally... 
I don't know if this is like very accurate. Apparently, you literally, it's like you fly away. Literally, you're not even in this planet yeah. and you're watching down on yourself and you literally, you can see yourself, yeah? And you can see like the good things about you, the positive things about you, what you need to move and change. Mm. People come out of that shit and they're like fucking brand new. That's, that's but true. I wouldn't even touch that. There's no, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't let my head get fucked. But mate, the TikTok I watch, this motherfucker, he says he takes DMT every single fucking morning, bro. Yeah, and mate, imagine how, that. But, but again, sure. how much? Yeah. It could be micro yeah. again. The, those drugs are just opening things in your brain. It, it basically unlocks other areas of your brain which, that which you're, you can't, which that, you're not capable of doing. Exactly. Yeah. Apparently, it, yeah. there's this drug, I think, I don't know what, which one it is. It might be DMT. It releases a chemical in your brain that only gets released when you die. Oh, do you shit. know what I'm saying? So, do you know they say you can see down and shit? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, that's what it does. There's something in that that sparks it and that's why you see this whole crazy thing. Mm. They say before you die, you literally, you see your life like flash before you in 10 seconds and goodbye, yeah. dead. Yeah. Yeah. But like, you might not be dead. You know, fuck knows, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, no. That's a, what it does. So that's why it might kind of fuck knows. Yeah. So mushrooms, and then there's one another drug called ayahuasca. Uh, ayahuasca. I've heard that. But I've heard that's that? kind of brutal. Yeah. Like that, that, but that's like another thing where people go on these like really life-changing trips. Yeah. They go like, do a trek in, uh, I want to say the Amazon. It is South America. They'll do a, like a mad trek. Even in Bali, they did it. A friend friend of mine that I, in Bali yeah. did a two-hour tra- trek into up into the waterfalls took some said it was just like life-changing like you couldn't even explain how it was but his like perspective on life straight after it was completely different yeah he just felt like all the worries all the stress that day-to-day life financially whatever it is to it doesn't life matter perspective in a different way and it's just you... completely gone and isn't it like seven days long as well mm. it's like a seven day that's what i'm saying but people can have that shit but it's like it's i don't say it's risky but like like you hear some people do it and it just fucks them up. And but would shit. would you ever like this? I'm saying I don't. Like, I'm not in a position where I feel. But like if I you need if to you that. knew you were safe and yeah. there was no sort of like you know you knew the certain dose for your body you know your body weight all of that and I feel and what well, I needed it. Well, like, I felt it, like I needed it because yeah. right now I wouldn't even like I don't need it. Nah, you're good in life. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, okay, yeah. You say if you're in that position, then of course you'd be like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Of course, it's like, I, my, I, like it's, it's like I need my hair done, so I thought, fuck, I'm gonna go do it. Yeah. Like if I felt like I need to do that, mm. send me to the Amazon. You know what I'm saying? With a fucking backpack and a hammer ladder, I'll come back with fucking birds. Yeah. Fucking L- lions and tigers. Mush- bags and of mushrooms. Free dicks. Mm. You know what I'm saying? No feet because I eat them. <laughs> I eat them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just send me there. I'll fucking. You need to try it. Try it. Yeah. Is that something you're looking at doing? That's why Johnny's going to Panama. Yeah. That's why you got connect in Panama, don't you? I'm just going to the jungle, mate. Oh, I'm I thought he was going jungle. fishing that. I thought you were going fishing, yeah, boy. Ju- so where I'm going? Johnny I'm, the Jungle Boy. I'm going down Pedersey, which is literally, you're in the fucking jungle, mate. Yeah. He's sick. Yeah. Fuck. I want, mate, that's what I want to do one point, man. Like, I literally want to get to the point where, like, because right now I can't. I'd love to just delete my phone. All social media app forms. App forms. I need to have some water, like. Or delete all like apps, yeah? Yeah. Literally forget about shit, bro. I want to actually go travel the world like a normal person. Have you know, you... like in terms of like, do you know when you hear people, they go traveling, they stay in like places on the beach, hostels, this, 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 in a cool way. Yeah. But like in terms of literally just no internet. This comes when they come back with dreads. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> all the fucking... Because I wanted to ask you that, like since since you started your, all this shit that we're basically fortunate to be a part of even now. Yeah. Since day one, you've probably not even had a break off your phone for I'm longer there. than fucking what? A, a day? No, not even like no, not even a day. But like, I, how, like, I go on it, like, um, but like, mate, I want to get it's like obviously because your life is social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like it's been constant for how long? What, how long you been? Oh, doing I've been doing now? videos like seven years. Seven years, man. I post every day, pretty much. Yeah. But yeah, no, I want to get to the point. Like, I do obviously want to just eventually just say like for a year, like I'm just chilling, just chill. Wanna, but then I don't, I don't know when that day's gonna come but because you, I don't feel like I will actually get to that point because I want to make videos forever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't think there's gonna be a day comes that fucking I'm like, okay, I'm good. But I, I I don't even think you're gonna you could get to the point where you can just turn off your phone no. because, like you might in a business sense as well like you wouldn't be able to do it. I mean literally, it, it's saying. literally a part of your life. Like, even me, mate, I with my line, it's completely on a different end to you. Yeah. But I even I struggle to fucking to switch off sometimes. Oh, mate, it's you crazy. Know? But even it gets to the point where like I could go traveling and vlog it, but then it loses that like I know I don't have memories, but I actually just want to like yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know you wake up and just like. Do Take what the it fuck you want. Not, not have a phone out. Have the edit videos. This, this, this. It's like... Yeah. But maybe one day, you know what I'm saying? Depending on fucking... When the little happens. one's older. Maybe when I'm 65, lad. There we so go. I'm, Let's do it. When I'm 65... We'll put, it in the, put it in a diary now. When we're all 65. 65, I'm going to have no hair. My bollocks are going to be fucking rubbing my kneecaps. My cock is going to look like a fucking snail when you put salt on it. Do you know you put salt on the snails? They just crumple up and just froth. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little hunchback and that, but fucking go make a fucking raft boat in Brazil. And you know what I'm saying? Just fucking, I want to do shit, man. Where like I don't have to film it. 
Mm. But at the same time, obviously, like I enjoy what I do. So like, what are you fucking doing, Alex? Oh, you legend, man. What, are you struggling to talk? Uh, no, I just I just wanted the fucking bit of water. Could have just said. And my brother, he's there for me. Could have just said, then firstly. Mm. <laughs> fucking, you're not in prison, mate. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking... Oh, look how fresh that looks like. Yeah, mate, Johnny's you know I mean? there. You have to stay hydrated. You have to. Yeah. You stay hydrated? Oh, mate, when I'm on my shit, like lately, bro, like my fucking piss looks like golden syrup, mate. Mine smells like sugar puffs. <laughs> Fuck me, boys. You need to sort it <laughs> I out. I know, like, mate. It's like, like mate, when I'm, last three weeks, mate, like, just had one before, mate. It, like, it got to the point, yeah, it, like, when I'm pissing, it's not piss, it's syrup. It's pouring out, just, like, syrup, mate. You yeah, know you what I mean? You sort it out, bro. It's the coffee. Like, I know. It, oh, I'm not going to be honest with you right now. It's a reflection on me. I'm your best mate. I'm a PT. I'm a coach. I want people healthy. It's Scott Johnson me. Fitness. So just fucking sort your shit out. I need to, bro. I really right. fucking need to. I know I need to. You know what I'm saying? What can we do? Well, I just need to literally like, mate, I've got a gym. Why don't you come to my house, 8 a.m., knock on my bedroom door, say, oi, dickhead, now. Well, I just... But tomorrow morning, I'm doing that tomorrow now, morning, man. I've messaged you before you ignore me. Tomorrow well, morning, I'll pick you up early, we'll go do 10 laps around the Yeah, no worries, lad. Let's I'll do it. I'll be there. I'll hold cool. you accountable. Cool, well, fucking first pod, smashed it. Talk, talk shit about fucking dicks, fucking mushroom trips, trips cool. here, Johnny shagging fish. Yeah. Fucking me picking my nose. Let us know what you think of the first pod, spreading rumours. Scott Johnson Fitness, Johnny Hamby 89, Chris and Hamby, that camera guy Alex, you know what I'm saying? That's been fun, guys. He's just been smart. Mate, Alex has had his dick out the whole pod, yeah. just hanging out his trousers, he's actually, mate. He's actually got no trousers on <laughs> yeah, right now. Yeah, mate. Looks like um, a fucking clip, mate. But now nah, this has been fun, boys. First pod, first done and pod. dusted, out the way. It's only going to improve. It's only going to get better. Yeah. Um, it's going to get even more exciting. We've got good shit to talk about. Big yeah. year ahead for all of us. I really want to see you step up. To be honest, mate. Oh. Yeah, well, you in got your fucking in everything. Everything. Just, just. Do you know what I mean? I want to see. I want to see big smiles on your face. I want to see big fish getting caught. You know? Because when you when you're in a good mood, and you're buzzing. You're like, it's yeah. good to see. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying like you came here with bed hair, mate. You know what I'm saying? But yo, so this is how it's gonna work, okay? Each week, it's gonna be me and Scotty, and we're gonna rotate the family member, and it's like a prize fighter. We're gonna test everyone out, and whoever we feel is the best is gonna get a contract. <laughs> Spreading rumors contract, they get yeah. doogies in their phone. They're gonna get a percent of the money this shit makes. Okay, so we're gonna just make it could be like three, four months and make it to the point where we're like, you know what, fuck it. Johnny smashes it, Natalie smashes it. There's gonna be four of us on the pod. Yeah, but we're gonna fine tune it, drop comments what you think. Could even fly a fan out and sit in the middle, but fuck Johnny off, oh. get someone else involved. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Drop us if you, you never think. Know. We and we're gonna have a PO box now too. So if you wanna send us shit to open on the pod, it could be fucking your pubic hair. Could be fucking your warm boxer shorts. Could be shit in a bag. Yeah. Send it. We're going to open some stuff on here. And yeah, That's drop it. a comment. We love you all. First spreading rumors, baby. That's it, brother. Love it. Cheers, boys. Yeah.